Good day everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and it's me again, your student teacher Juliet. And for today's blog, I'm giving you the summary of the tale of Peter Rabbit, 1901 by Beatrix Potter. The story focuses on a family of anthropomorphic rabbits. The widowed mother rabbit warns her four rabbit children, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter, the youngest rabbit child, not to enter the vegetable garden of a man named Mr. McGregor, whose wife, she tells them, put their father in a pie after he entered. Her triplets, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, obediently refrain from entering the garden. Peter's older sisters, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, were good little bunnies and went down the lane to gather blackberries, but Peter enters the garden to snack on some vegetables. Peter ends up eating more than what is good for him and goes looking for parsley to cure his stomach ache. Peter is spotted by Mr. McGregor and loses his jacket and shoes while trying to escape. He hides in a watering can in a shed but then has to run away again when Mr. McGregor finds him and ends up completely lost. After sneaking past a cat, Peter sees the gate where entered the garden from a distance and heads for it. Despite being spotted and chased by Mr. McGregor again, with difficulty, he wriggles under the gate and escapes from the garden, but he spots his abandoned clothing being used to dress Mr. McGregor's scarecrow for crows and other pesky creatures. After returning home, a sick Peter is sent to bed by his mother. After she tells him that his jacket and shoes are the second jacket and pair of shoes that he has lost in a fortnight. His mother also takes note that he was not feeling too well and deduces that he had evidently been to Mr. McGregor's garden. To cure his stomach ache, Mrs. Rabbit gives him chamomile tea, which is revealed to be one teaspoon and gives a dose of it to Peter. Peter's older sisters, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, meanwhile receive a scrumptious dinner of milk, bread, and blackberries. However, only Mr. McGregor knew where Peter's clothes were as they were used to frighten the, s the crows like a scarecrow. So the moral lesson in this story is that we must always obey our parents, especially our mother, because they knew what is best for us and they loved us. And we can make sure that they will not make decisions that will harm us. Can you rise? I see something to believe.